Let's look at Curator's capability of looking inside the payload of the application. That's what we call the queue flow. It's all top of layer 7. So in this particular case, this offense gets a trigger because this internal address has actually been sending to this uh, destination address it's to be of Facebook uh, data that is both sensitive and is uh, unencrypted. So let's see at the, at the details. So again, we can hover over the, the particular IP address and see who's the user, Liz Baker, is currently using that and is the, at the time of the offense the user of that IP address and uh, is our network alumni detection is the source for the log and here we have the flow so if, for example if we look at this particular flow in here we can actually see that Curator has detected uh, both a social security number we see as a sign here we see this pattern that matches uh, social security and uh, this one for credit card see the pattern of a credit card so any field without within the traffic of the information including the payload can be used for curator to latch upon and bring it as part of the correlation this last offense in here so this is actually it's suspicious that uh, there is a botnet this machine that's been pawned and is using having some communication with a, with a botnet. So the internal address is this one over here. It's talking to five remote IPs. The current user is Jeremy Wolf, but again, he might not be, most likely he's completely unaware that his machine has been used for some nefarious uh, usage. And uh, we see that the that curator knows how to detect botnet type of communication and it has detected that uh, going through all these five IP addresses outside the country and if we look at one of them we can actually see that, that is this the curator actually identify the type of uh, communication that is common for uh, botnets and the one thing that uh, that made this uh, chat traffic extremely suspicious is that chat is normally goes over port 667 but now it's going over port 80 so that is uh, very suspicious indeed so maybe there's uh, we need to deal with uh, this gentleman's uh, IP uh, machine and probably re-images or eliminate the malware that's in there